Okay, if you've ever wanted to see what's inside of an Eaton e-locker, or at least the newest version, the four pin design, not the two pin, uh, here you go. And the reason I have mine apart is I broke it. <laughs> and I'll show you more about how that happened uh, in a second, but it is a Dana 60 uh, e-locker, 35 spline. That's, uh, that's the Eaton unit. And this is how it basically works in case you're curious. It's a two piece design and you've got you know, when you're driving down the road, it's completely open. Uh, whenever you engage the electromagnet, it puts pressure on these pins. That locks that down in place, which locks uh, the rear axle up and basically works like a spool. So you got this gear here, which sits inside of this part of the case. And if you can see, you've got a handful of holes. So you just have to spin it and line it up and it'll drop into those holes. And when you engage it, there's your little 12 volt uh, part that comes in. You are engaging the electromagnet and it's going to basically put pressure um, on this setup, which in turn is going to lock into this gear here. And as you might already be able to see what my problem was, which is I broke one of the teeth here and I've got damage to the rest of the teeth. Now, I don't know what caused this. Um, I ran this thing for eight months without a single issue. Uh, this is under my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. I'm running 40s. This came out of a low pinion Pro Rock XD 60 rear axle. I'm not a rock bouncer. I'm not crazy uh, on this thing by any means. I was in Moab, Utah, got on Hell's Revenge, which is an easy trail, but a lot of traction on that trail. And I noticed the Jeep would pop. Uh, with the rear locker in. I was like, something's not right. And I just done an obstacle. I'm like, man, I, I got nervous. Like, I, I think I broke something. So I uh, decided to leave it open for the rest of the trip because I'd just driven this thing out from North Carolina to Moab, drove it back home, and here I am now taking it apart. Uh, I actually took this thing apart a couple weeks ago. The reason I mentioned that is I knew have a new unit that's getting ready to go in. But uh, I had never taken one of these apart before, and I didn't know what I was going to find, but it's actually a fairly simple unit. Again, you just have this little spring set up in here that's uh, keeping pressure, uh, or actually just working to separate this gear set up. So that's how you're not engaged going down the road. And I'll try to show you here, uh, this little gear, you have to get it, there you go. It's, once it slides up, it, it slides all the way down. You can put uh, the spring goes right in between here, which on their diagrams, it looks like they're supposed to be like a brass washer. I did not have a brass washer and maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why it broke. Um, and that's that's your basic setup. So like I say, 35 spline, uh, eat and eat locker. Nothing terribly complicated about it. This side doesn't come apart or at least uh, not necessary for what I'm doing. I don't know how I would take this apart. So it seems like it's a, some type of press or machine finish for this. So I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't see any issue with any of these forged gears. All that looks pretty good. No pin issues, no damage there. I didn't have any damage to my, uh, ring and pinion. So that was good. So the only, uh, issue I found here was, uh, the teeth being messed up. Now I have been told that one of the issues you have to be really careful about with these lockers is making sure they have enough voltage so uh, for those you're wondering yes I did check the voltage and it was actually showing a little high showing around 14 uh, at the plug so that didn't seem to be in my issue there so I don't know I'm hoping maybe there was just some bad casting maybe I caught it at a weird time engaging or disengaging uh, I don't know so I'm going to put another one in it um, get this thing back to Eaton the warranty it and all that good stuff and Hopefully I don't have any problems. You know, one of the reasons I went with this locker is because uh, I thought it'd be easy. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've had ARBs and a lot of trucks in the past uh, and I've had e-lockers in, you know, the stock gladiators and wranglers and stuff and I've never had a problem with them. And the ARBs, honest to goodness, I haven't really had a lot of problems with those other than air leaks. And usually you have to go in and split the case and there's like a ring that goes in here and You'll have to replace that, but I've never had an A-locker break. Uh, this is a first to actually have a break like this, which this is obviously the weak link of this thing. It's like, reminds me of like an old lock, right? Um, so I don't know, that's a little underwhelming. From what I understand, 
If you have UD60 uh, axles, they come with the older two-piece design, but allegedly this design right here is supposed to be much stronger. So uh, I wanted Pro Rocks and that's, you know, I, I got this locker. Uh, it's because I wanted, they didn't like talk me into it or anything. This is just, uh, I thought this would just make my life really easy with the Gladiator. So if you're curious about what this looks like on the inside and how this all goes together, hopefully that uh, sheds a little light onto it. And like I say, I'm gonna, Transfer over my ring gear, go get some new bearings pressed on and get it shimmed uh, and then set this thing back up and get driving again. All right. Take care, YouTube.